Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at FineTuneCBShop.com Hey, you ever noticed? No intros, no music playing. Well, when I did, YouTube hit me with strikes, so I got a banner here and there. But I don't play that stuff. I won't waste your time. Don't waste mine. Let's go right to, into this through to the point. Okay, check it out. Guy knows what he's doing. Serial number, serial, serial number. Alright. Give me a picture of the radio. Let me read this to you. Oh, by the way, the air conditioner's on. Sorry about the noise. There ain't no way I can do without. This stuff has to maintain. And so does hard drive. And this says, this Connex 4300 serial number, blah, 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 is owned by, what's up, Brett? Okay, uh, where he lives, phone number, it was purchased, used off eBay, October 18, 2016. It came with a static 636, I'm currently using an SRA-198 and a President CB100 external speaker. This radio is being shipped to Mark Sherman, hard drive, 15 CB shop address. Zip for inspection and repair is needed. All right, cool deal. I like what you did. It's awesome, man. I wish everybody did that. Phone number, everything. Yeah. All right, let's check this puppy out. I already kind of looked at it, fired it up. So, anyway, it's a little bit warm. Let's check it for being on frequency while it's warm. By the way, certification and calibration. Not some iffy or backyard dude did it, you know what I mean? So it's always correct. Alright, so nothing against backyard dudes. Alright, 27204926. Yeah, that's off. Some people say it doesn't. Yes, it does make a difference. Alright, not a lot, but yeah, you want that extra mile, that piercing cut through. Oh, am I giving out some secrets? Okay, not bad though, okay? Not bad. Now it's. Oh, by the way, still, this is all that matters. Oh, let me, I was thinking about something. I got an assignment for y'all. I don't care if you're extra class or just getting into this. Your assignment is to listen to every radio that you can. Of course, you need a good speaker and a decent system yourself. But note every single radio that has even the slightest amount of distortion in it. In other words, it doesn't sound exactly like that person. Could be undermodulated, overmodulated, could be splatter, could be IMD, but any form of distortion at the slightest amount. Sometimes distortion is not heard. Okay, remember that. Means you're getting out that much less. Okay? That means a lot. Let's take a look at some distortion. Let's power halfway. Well, I'm not gonna run this wide open the whole time on this video, it's just too much. Wide open right there is a buck twenty-five. It's too much for this radio. All right, so now that one channel wide, one channel block. Yeah, it's not bad, right? It doesn't look bad. The wave is disgusting, and even with the bolts I'm pumping into it, it won't achieve hundred percent modulation. Now let's increase power. Now let's decrease power. Notice nonlinear. Nonlinear. Right? Now at. Uh, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right up against the six. You notice the S's aren't even there. Flat as a pancake. But she's splattering real bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've seen a lot worse, but here, this is where it gets more interesting. Let's look at it at, say, one megahertz. Still doesn't look bad, right? Okay, let's look at it at. 30 megahertz. Yeehaw! <laughs> look at them babies. Sherwood National Forest, huh? Now let's take a look at it and say 300. Yeah, baby. Uh huh? Alright. And that's, you know, I can't even, I won't even modulate all the way. I'm gonna turn the power back down. I don't wanna get this thing hot as a tune yet. So, full mic gain. Power all the way down. Now let's go to 60. See the first harmonic. I mean, it's ridiculous. There it is. It's a splatter box. Now, go back to 30. Power, say, oh, say 50 watt carrier. Right? 
this is uh, CB channels, 11 meter, 26965 to 27405. Okay. This is the lower band, 40 kilohertz below. Back to CB, and that is 440 kilohertz above. All right. And more and more. You can see the spectrum analyzer shifting too, because it also reads frequency. Yeah. Total mud duck. A splatter box. All right. So, and again, like I said, sometimes the distortion you can't hear is distortion that is wiping out your transmit power and a lot of other things too. Shall we look on the inside? Oh, that's an NPC mod typically. Now let's pop her up and take a look. 325 Brett. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Let me get this thing open real quick. I don't think it's too bad. So much for that seal. Should be 2879s. Uh, typical hack monsters. Pretty loose. Besides that, looks like the audio chip. This is an older one, one of the first ones. That's a TA7222AP audio chip. And uh, looks like a 360014 slash B board, one of the originals with updated MOSFETs. Same regulator. I don't really see anything else that's been done to it. The solder joint may have been replaced. Okay. New camera position, so I'm not sure until I post this what's actually going to be visible like this. But, uh, yeah. It's just clipped. You see that? Limiters in place, but they clipped it. It's just plum dumb. Everything else looks pretty decent, but it's really hard to tell until I really start going through the radio. Let's pop this open real quick. No broken screws or butchered. Looking good. see something we're gonna pull it apart it's coming out I see dust all right yeah so this one's coming apart I can see the dust in here the only way to clean this out you might need fans off to heat it up to see if they even work and here we'll check that out too the amp looks decent no one's been trying to mod on it or hack it up it looks all factory. Let's see. The wax isn't all broke up. Oh, 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 oh. Broken coil. Broken coil. Someone's been in it with a screwdriver. And that might be a broken coil too on the receive. All basically on the receive. 
So three broken coils. Let's see if I can't get you in here I'm closer. That pisses me off when I gotta fix those. See it? That one looks broken. So I someone play with the noise blanker a lot too. I do see some slot solder splashes right there. Again, like I said, until I really start working on them, otherwise you spend too much time. You know, time is everything, everything. So until I really start, otherwise you're going through them twice. That's not how it works. Yeah, you guys got to keep them golden screwdrivers out. Besides that, man. I'll find everything else when I start working on it. Looks like you got a precious find here. Now this echo board sucks. These are the versions that came with. See the echo board? Straight line. No modifications have been done to that one. I do have a couple of things I can do to help it out. Because uh, you probably noticed if you used it, there's a delay on the echo. I got that resolved. Might get put frequency response sensitivity resolved. Yeah, I did a lot of these in Arizona, Southwest Arizona. 163, Southwest Arizona. That goes back a little ways, but not far. All right. And again, you already know that it's going back in the box. You know what it looks like. And uh, I don't want to keep you guys watching videos much longer. So if you got something, you need to check it out, especially the exports. If you need that extra range and the clarity, the punch, you know who it is. Get it fine-tuned. Not peaked and ruined. It's hard drive here at fine-tunedcbshop.com. I'm out of here. Click, click.